when people think of Cape Town, the first things that come to their minds are hot summer days, pristine and white sandy beaches. Scenic hikes in the mountains around the city with amazing views. Water adventures. Cultural experiences. And amazing exploration. I would appreciate it if you give a like this video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the notification bell for our next video. In this video, I will show you places to visit in Cape Town free of charge while you are on holiday or if you are a local resident. Starting from the wealthier suburbs of Cape Town, Bay, a fishing small town on the southern side of Cape Town. The best time to travel to Cape Town is between October and March, and the weather is good around this time. But January and February are the best months to be in Cape Town and summer is in full swing. My first stop is Clifton Beach, a popular pristine white sandy beach with deep blue waters. Situated in Clifton, a wealthy neighborhood in South Africa. Hello everyone, welcome back to today's episode. So today I'll be taking you to a tour at Clifton Beach. So Clifton Beach is one of the richest neighborhoods in Cape Town, situated right here at the foot of Atlantic Ocean. <laughs> Clifton first so we will be exploring the neighborhood of Clifton one by one so there's Clifton first Clifton second Clifton third and Clifton fourth so as we go straight down there that's Clifton fourth so if you're visiting Cape Town and you want to go to Clifton one of the best where you find everything where you find a lot of people it's at Clifton fourth where we'll be going eventually <music> Exploring Clifton Beach, you will notice that Clifton is divided into four sections by rocks. Clifton First is family friendly and is often quiet. It is a perfect spot if you like peace and quiet space.
is a gay vibe. It is popular with members of the LGBTQ plus community. <laughs> Fourth is the busiest and easiest to access. And there is quite few activities happening, like beach massage. Parties on the yard. At Clifton Forth, the waters are calm and it's perfect for swimming. So where I'm standing right now, this is Clifton Forth. Right here behind me is one of the most popular beach sport here in Cape Town amongst beach goers. Clifton 4th is also a blue flag beach which means it meets the high environmental and sustainability standards. <music> My next stop is Saunders Rock Beach. and popular rock pool is situated between Bentry Bay and Sea Point in Cape. I get it why it is called the Saunders Rock Beach or Saunders Rock Tidal Pool. So it is surrounded with big rocks all over and you get people you know, sunbathing on top of these rocks and it's really amazing. <laughs> It's very refreshing and yeah this is Atlantic Ocean man. It is a perfect spot for sun bathing and sunset viewing.
Granger Bay to Sea Point is a stretched, flat, paved walkway with beautiful views. The activities you can do here is you can jog, you can walk during sunset, and a lot more. <music> If you are adventurous and love mountains, Cape Town is surrounded by mountains, including the iconic Table Mountain. I'm at Kloof Corner, as you can see. This is one of the easiest hikes you can do in Cape Town. It's best for sunset hiking. You just take a walk and uh, appreciate the view of the city. It's right beneath Table Mountain. So if you follow our channel and keep following, Next, we'll be doing a table mountain, so keep up and let's go to this wonderful hike of uh, Kloof Corner. <music> choose Kloof Corner hiking trail because it is relatively easy hike. It is beneath Table Mountain with amazing views of the city, Camps Bay, Lion's Head and incredible sunset scenery. Once on top, the views are breathtaking. <laughs> mountain I went to explore the downtown. I first went to the where looked after Cape Town City Hall where Nelson Mandela delivered his first speech from prison. <music> From City Hall, you can head to Green Market Square where you can get some nice souvenirs from African products. <music>
for gardens. The company garden is popular amongst locals and tourists. Here you can find beautiful flowers, beds and a rose garden. You can visit the South African Museum and the National Gallery Museum as well. <music> On the southern side of Cape Town is Musenberg, a popular beach amongst surfers. shops where you can hire surfing kit, there are coffee shops and a restaurant all around. It is a perfect spot for those who enjoy surfing, beach walks and a day out at the beach with the family. is a popular tidal pool, St. James. It gets full also on the hot days during summer. Park Bay, a small fishing town popular with fishing activities and a restaurant at the edge of the coast. There's plenty to see and plenty to do, including a closer encounter with the seals. Thank you for watching if you enjoyed this video please subscribe to the channel and keep the notification bell for our next episode